from the lab and lift off. to being blasted off into space. A team of engineers believes this high-tech cube could be the answer to a growing space waste problem. Satellites in space need to move for a variety of reasons. Uh, a big one is to avoid space debris or other uh, satellites and also to move for their mission. Electric propulsion systems are used to accelerate spacecraft. Traditionally, they use liquid or gas as fuel, but this one comes with a difference. It can be powered by recycled space junk. Because most of the space junk is, is metal in space, so we can just convert that to fuel rods and then that can be plugged into Newman Drive. It'll be used by companies which carry devices on satellites that can catch space junk. They'll then be able to return to Earth with the junk to make more fuel. Our Newman Drive helps the satellites to deorbit. Uh, when the lifetime is completed, it could be after three years or five years. So we're helping deorbiting or reducing space junk. And that's a mission that's becoming more urgent, with the amount of man-made clutter in space continuing to grow. If we want to continue accessing all of those space-based services that we're used to, like navigation and Earth observation and timing, we're going to have to start actively removing some of this debris. The launch is just one part of a nationwide endeavour for Australia to play a more sizeable role in the industry and for the country to be front and centre of efforts to make space travel more sustainable. Initially getting that space heritage, demonstrating that the thruster works in outer space, is going to be a huge step forward. One giant leap for Australia's space industry. Bethany Alderson, ABC News, Adelaide.